Hi there, and welcome back to another episode, number 159, in our series of 1,000 Evidences for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In this one, uh, we will discuss another of the good fruits of the church. You will remember that Jesus taught that we are to judge a tree by its fruit. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has produced an extraordinary amount of wonderfully amazing fruit. Such outstanding fruit is recognized by millions all over the world and down through history. One example of such recognition is the evaluation of the church by great men of note, uh, such as former U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, who made some very in remarkable statements in defense of uh, a Latter-day Latter Saint a senator, Reed Smoot, whose seat in the U.S. Senate was being threatened by, uh, uh, by other of his constituents. U.S. Pre President Theodore Roosevelt publicly defended LDS Apostle Reed Smoot's right to retain his seat in the U.S. Senate. Um, his leadership, Smoot's leadership in the church reawakened anti-LDS sentiments across the nation. Within the first year of his election, protesting citizens sent in over uh, 3,000 petitions to Washington, D.C. What followed was a Senate investigation called the Smoot Hearings that lasted four years and put Reed Smoot and the church under scrutiny, dragging uh, into the limelight questions of the church's past and present. Historian Kathleen Flake observed, the four-year Senate proceeding created a 3,500-page record of testimony by 100 witnesses on every particular of Mormonism. Uh, at the height of the hearing, some senators were receiving a thousand letters a day from angry constituents. Uh, what remains of these public petitions fills 11 feet of shelf space, the largest such collection in the in National Archives. Among the most influential defenders of Senator Smoot was none other than President Theodore Roosevelt, who visited Utah in 1903 and demonstrated his support that's according to Michael K. Winder, who notes, it was during this time of public scrutiny of the church that Theodore Roosevelt weighed in mo most consequently on the side of the Mormons. That's Theodore Roosevelt Association Journal, Theodore Roosevelt and the Mormons, page 12. Theodore Roosevelt said of his investigation of the claims against Senator Smoot, I looked into the facts very thoroughly, became convinced that Senator Smoot had told me the truth, and treated him exactly as they did all the other senators, that is, strictly on the merits of his, uh, as a public servant. Another publication quoted Roosevelt as saying, by all that that's holy, I say to you that Reed Smoot is entitled to his seat in the Senate under the Constitution. And the fact that he is a high church of, uh, officer makes no difference. I shall do all in my power to help him retain his seat. Smoot's unapproachable character and, and President Theodore Roosevelt's support caused the Senate to vote for Smoot to maintain his seat. This presidential support was a major turning point in the development of relationship between the LDS Church and the American public. Winter wrote, President Roosevelt visited Utah on numerous occasions, praising the Latter-day Saints. In his 1903 visit, he told the citizens, you took a state which at the outset was called this after the desert, and you literally, not figuratively, you literally made the wilderness blossom as the rose. President Roosevelt welcomed and spoke with church leaders on many occasions. 
He even visited with missionaries during a public parade in Tennessee in 1907. These events helped bring the church, LDS church and missionary work out of obscurity while also dispelling rumors about and fear of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. During a time of public scrutiny and criticism of the Church, President Roosevelt spoke out adamantly about the Latter-day Saints' religious freedom. He said, The Mormon has the same right to his form of religion, religious belief that the Jew and the mainstream Christians have to theirs, he said. What an eloquent defense of the LDS Church, of religious tolerance, and of religious freedom. Remarkable. And Theodore Roosevelt was an outstanding man of great wisdom and unpre unprejudiced judgment. We all would do well to develop the discern discerning perspective that he possessed. In the meantime, call, don't fall. Call on the God of tolerance and open-mindedness. Don't fall for the legions of hate and narrow-mindedness. <laughs>